Between the two of us, we had a lot of eyes looking for stuff. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for dropping by. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks so much for continuing to support my channel by watching my videos. Today I am doing the haul from the last two videos where Dolores, Miss Damn Jewelry, and I went shopping at a flea market that we found out near Sheridan, Texas. Now, we didn't know about it. We happened to be shopping somewhere and someone asked us if we'd ever been there and we hadn't. So, so we decided to throw caution to the wind and go find this place out in the middle of nowhere as you saw in the videos. Now this place had a lot of goodies in there and it was packed um, so we probably missed a whole bunch of stuff but we did find some things and we each brought a box home. So today I've decided let's just do this. Let's get this haul out and let you see all of the pretties that we got um, before I actually put them in my booth or have them in a live sale. And if you've never been to my channel before, I do have live sales um, where I do sell some of the items that I find while I'm out thrifting um, and going to estate sales and antique shops. I do sell those here on my channel. So make sure that you click that notification bell to all so you never miss a live event, maybe just a chat, a uh, drop sale, which is a pre-recorded sale or a live sale like we've been talking about or another video and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button it is free and it does help my channel grow so I really like your help getting me to 3,000 subscribers that is my next goal so first before I show you the things that I got at Lucy's I am going to show you a couple of items that my stepmom got for me while she was out thrifting because she knows that I like these types of things um, she did find two golden books. Um, these are in great condition. Now, I've been making journals out of the golden books where I keep the front and the back covers. I keep the entire story and I add about 50 pages of um, a heavier weight or grade of paper and then add some crayons, a poppet, something for the kids. So she got me the Barbie Rapunzel book. And y'all, I was looking at this thing and it is, it is newer. Y'all, it's 2001. The date on this is 2001. That makes it vintage by industry standards. Can you believe that this book is actually vintage? Ugh. Where is the time going? Okay, the next one that she found was the bunny hop. This will be super cute for Easter. Put some Easter stickers um, and some crayons and all the things for the kids. This is super cute. And I read the book and it's like a little rhyme. Um, so thank you for picking that one up for me. And then she found me some Halloween, y'all. I'm so excited about these. She got me four. And these are giant sized Halloween window decorations. You remember the ones that had the little suction cup and they are a plastic. She got me the ghost, it's the spooky ghost with the haunted house on this one. Um, she also got me the scary witch and her cauldron. I love the little skull on there. And look at that witch's face. Look at those eyes. Y'all, these are so cute. And she got me the jack-o'-lantern and that scary, scary, it looks like a Grandpa Frankenstein. What do you think? Do you think this is a Grandpa Frankenstein? He's just really super cute. I love his little face. And then finally, y'all, a black cat and a jack-o'-lantern. I love his hat. Look at the little colorful hat and those great eyes on there. So thank you so much to my stepmom for picking me up those prizes while she was out thrifting. So let me show you what I got at um, Lucy's. Now, I thought I got a whole bunch more than this just because the box was really heavy, but then I started putting everything out and I got a great deal. I spent about 40, a little over 
$45, but I did round up to $50 because after all, y'all, all the money that is raised there goes to help the rescue for the dogs, and I'm all about that. So I just rounded up to $50. Okay, y'all, so I will say that I've already washed everything and I've already put everything in my inventory, so I am gonna be able to tell you what I'm selling each one of these pieces for if I'm selling it or if I'm keeping it for myself. Um, and sometimes I do. I find some things and I think, oh, I'll sell this. And then I think, oh, no, I think I'll keep it for myself. Um, so if you're interested in any of the items that you see in this video or any of my other videos, go ahead and send me an email at scprincess1 at comcast.net and I can let you know if the item is still available. All right. So first, I had to pick it up. I just had to. Y'all, it is in perfect condition. Now, I always love the baby planters, but they don't really always sell. Um, but this one is different, very different, I think. I've never seen one like this. Um, look at those eyelashes on there. This is actually a Spoco. Now, it's S-P-O-C-O. -O. I'll put it right here, but I've never heard of this. So, let me know if you know anything about the Spoco brand. Um, I guess I could Google it, but if you know something, let me know in the comment section below. But I think this is absolutely darling. Now, it has about the same, the only difference is on this side um, is a rattle and on this side is a little bear. But there's eyelashes and eyes on both sides of this little horse-drawn carriage. There was the sticker right here and of course that is gone. Um, but it is in fabulous condition and it's a pretty big size. It really is a pretty thick and pretty big size. Um, now that's under the glaze. I just saw that when I turned it, but that is under the glaze. It looks like it got bumped before it got fired. Um, but that is really, really cute. And I have this one tagged at $15. Um, it's just in perfect condition. Um, it's different and there's no damage. So I am excited about this. All right, the next thing that I got was, we'll go from big to little. Y'all saw me pick this up. I could not leave this behind. Now, if you've watched my series on the auction, you know that I have a ton of chickens right now. I bought a whole flat of just chickens, and I thought this was perfect to go along with it. This is more like an Easter chicken. I'm guessing this is a planter, but I think you could put a little egg right here for Easter, and that would be so cute. And we know the age because it's actually stamped on the bottom. It is stamped. 25 cents. Um, so no price tag, just a stamp. There is some crazing in this, but the paint is great. There's no chips or anything like that in there. Um, I just thought it was too, too cute to leave out. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to sell this, but I don't know, y'all. It is so cute. Um, so this vintage a little uh, chicken planter, I have this marked at $8, and um, I just think it's so cute. All right, sticking with Easter, I found some things that are for Easter. And actually, you see where Dolores points this out to me in the video. Look at this little fairy lamp, a little tea light holder, if you will. Um, now, this one says that it is just a ceramic Easter egg. Um, it's no chips or cracks in this whatsoever. Now, the only other one that I saw with this has the pastel colors. I thought due to the coloring that this might be Linux, but I did not see that this is Linux quality, number one. Um, and I didn't see it listed as Linux. But if you think that it is Linux or you know who made this, please let me know in the comments. Um, and it actually has the little locking pieces, which is good so that it doesn't get knocked off. You just turn it and that way it stays on. But I thought this was really cute. No chips or cracks in this. You can see why I thought maybe this was Linux, but I really don't think it is, but if you know something else, please let me know. Now, this little ceramic tea light, y'all, I just priced this one at $12. I couldn't find a maker or anything on there, and I think that this will go great either in my booth for um, Easter time in the spring or maybe even a live sale. All right, um, I got a lot of pastel things. I did find, this is a second Fenton Bell that I have found. This one is a mini little bell. This is a Fenton Bell. It has the 
sticker right here that says Fenton. It's in this white satin. It is absolutely beautiful with the little light pink trim. I hope that you're going to be able to see that. It's also got some light pink up here and it is hand painted as well as signed right here on the bottom. So this one is smaller. I guess you would say this is a four or five inch one. It is just super, super cute. I did test it to see if it glows and it does not glow. That's the only bummer. It's, so it's not really custard glass, more of the satin glass. And um, I priced this one at $10. No chips or cracks. And if you saw the video, you will see where I found this. It was back in the corner. There's just so much in there, y'all. You have to look in every nick and cranny. It's a great little place. I think I'll try to go about once every month or month and a half, two months, something like that, just to give them time to put out some new inventory. All right, y'all, this next one, um, if you know anything about this, let me know. So it's an M Mark Noritake Japan piece. Um, it is a little luster teacup. Now, the only ones that I saw like this were in orange, and I never did see a blue one, um, but the ones that I saw that were in orange were snack sets, and on the inside is a little lady's face, and it's called a Betty Boo, B-O-O, -O, and this is the Noritake M Mark, that's right back here, Betty Boo, in the blue luster. Now, if you look really carefully, it looks like there's a little bit of paint loss. Now, more than likely, somebody probably set something down in there. Um, when I feel it, there's no rough spaces, so I may be able to touch that up. But otherwise, it is super thin, um, in really great condition, no chips or cracks. I did price this one at 30. I do think this is a wonderful collector piece, and I've never seen the Betty Boo um, teacups before. And I know Dolores and I had a sale in the spring around Mother's Day um, with a bunch of teas and teacups and things, so um, I'm always looking for pretty teacups. All right, next I found these. These are not vintage, but they're vintage inspired. And look at this darling plate. This is one of the first things that I saw when I walked into where everything was. This is the little girl that is singing, but y'all look how sweet she is. Very vintage inspired, maybe from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. Um, I'm feeling around it. There may be a few little flea bites. I don't know if that's paint or what, I don't think it's paint. It might be a few flea bites. Um, and then I have the other one, which is the little boy, and he is playing the saxophone. He says, you're my Valentine. Love for you, Valentine. And I think that's super cute. And this one says, be mine to say, I love you, Valentine. But won't these be super cute in a display, even in a stand? for Valentine's Day, and I have these priced as the same that I priced the ones with the dogs on them. I have these priced at $8 each. All right, Dolores also found this. I guess I would have missed everything if I weren't with Dolores. Um, she has a really great eye, and you know, I'm looking and got my mind set on one thing, and she's looking, and she's kind of got an eye looking for something else, and sometimes, Four eyes are better than two, or in our case, we had glasses on, so we each had four eyes. So between the two of us, we had a lot of eyes looking for stuff. But I thought this one was super cute. She was not willing to take this all the way back to the UK, so I gladly picked it up. Um, this is Anchor Hawking. You can see the mark right here. I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, it's the little anchor and the H right there for anchor hockey. And they're calling this a mid-century modern atomic star um, orange juice pitcher, tang orange colored. So it was either a tang pitcher or an orange juice with the tang orange. Um, and the lid on it works. So this lid actually unscrews. And so I was, it's very, very clean and everything. Um, it's great shape, no chips or cracks, and um, it does work. Now it says right here, 
uh, do not shake. So that's because it comes open like this. So I just thought that was super, super cute. And um, I think it's gonna look great in my spaces. And this is marked right now at $12. So I thought that was a good deal on that one. All right, I also, in channeling my inner D, Thrill of the Thrift, picked up a vintage um, wooden rolling pin. And this one does have the metal on the inside. That's kind of one of the ways you're able to tell sometimes. It's not really, really old. You have to be able to see a little bit about how it's made and put together. And again, it's not really, really old. Um, but I do have $12 on this and it actually already has the hole so it could be hung. Um, and I'll be taking this to an upcoming show. So this one is marked at $12. All right, what else did I get? I feel like I'm going super, super fast, but I'm so excited about all the things that I got. Um, I got these, I got these two for Vinny. Um, and they came in a bag. They were $1. Now, this one's in pretty bad shape, um, but these are little pinups. Um, this one is a playing card, and it's in much better shape. This one is actually a 1947 calendar. Um, so I got these for a dollar for both of them, and I'm just going to put them in a little card and send these to Vintage Vinny. Uh, he loves and collects the pinups, and I hope that he's going to be able to use this one. Um, but again, it's from 1947, so I hope he likes that. All right, let me see what else we got now. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got these. Let me move some of this stuff so I don't break it. That would be bad. All right, so I picked up all of these, and there are eight, I believe. And you saw me looking at these, and then um, you saw me come back and say that I was going to get them. These are actually Christmas cards. These are made by James Farrell. So the coins are actually sculpted by James Farrell. And this one is called Peace Enduring, and I love that. It says, Peace Enduring was sculpted by James Farrell from a design by Joseph Alva. Farrell's recent work introduced um, the Bahamas $10 commemorative coin. Alta has created metallic designs for many outstanding Franklin Mint issues. Um, so these have already been used. They've already been sent, but I don't think people are going to care because these are beautiful. So all of these are by James Farrell, the ones that I'm going to show you. They are Franklin Mint gold, or they're calling them bronze or silver coins um, for... Christmas. And this one was from 1974 called Peace Enduring. And I have those marked at $10 each. Um, let me see what, make sure I get the date right. All right. The next one that I got is a joy to the world. It has got almost like a red satin um, and then a red little silk looking piece there. It's a little bit different. This one, um, may the spirit of Christmas bring you peace and joy throughout the year. This one is called Joy to the World Adoration of the Magi, and this one is 1972. Um, and each one has the little information on the back, and it is a two-sided coin. Um, let me see what this one says. This one is the same as the others, and it does say 1972 on that one. The next one that I have, and I've got the little tags because I wasn't going to be able to remember them. Again, James Farrell Franklin Mint Coin Christmas card. This one is Glory to God. I love the design on the front. And this one has Nativity. It's called um, the Nativity from 1971. And it has the front and the back. The back of that coin says, Oh, come, let us adore him. So there is a front and a back to these coins. I just think they'd make beautiful displays. This one is another glory to God. It is in gold. And there are the wise men right there. This has got like the angel over the nativity. It's actually called Nativity. Um, may the star of Christmas guide you towards peace and goodwill in the new year. I just think these are awesome, y'all. These are really, really cool. This one is 1973. 
And I just, I just, again, I just think that they're wonderful. Oh, here is a super cool one. Maybe my favorite. This is a glory to God in white. And it's called the Christ Child. You can see the baby Jesus right there with the little halo over him. This is a 1975. And let me see on the back. It looks like the wise men in awe there. But if you can see the front, see the texture with the angel over the baby Jesus. That detail is what I really love about these cards. And this says, may the spirit of Christmas abide with you throughout the coming year. Now, again, all but one of these, I think, has been used. Same family, um, but I just could not leave them behind. And um, they comp at about anywhere from 10 to $12.00. So I put $10 on each one of these. Okay, the next one is love the colors on this one. Look at that blue. Oh gosh, that blue is just beautiful. There's Joseph and the donkey. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of this one, but the donkey is on there. Um, and it looks like the angels, there are the angels with the trumpets and then Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus right here. This is called the first Christmas. And let me open it up. This one's 1976. And it says, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. And I think, is this the one that is not? No, this one is written on. This one is written on as well. So I thought that was, that's my favorite with the donkey. All right, the next one is, uh, I think, 1977, and it is called Christ is Born, and you can just see everybody in the manger there, just the gold on the outside, but look how, what great condition these are in, and let me see what the inside says. May the blessings of Christmas be with you all through this season and the coming year, and look at the Magi in the back on the back of those. That is awesome. And then the last one is this one that it looks like Bethlehem. And then you see the angel with Mary and Jesus there. And this one is the 1970. Yeah, this one is the 1970. And here's the rest of the people in the manger. And this one is called Birth of Christ. So I could not help it. I had to get all eight of those. Um, and again, those are $10 each. So I think that wasn't a bad deal um, for what I paid for them. I also got the prayers for little children. And I said in the video, if you're the one who asked me to make a journal, if I had this book, please leave me a comment. Um, this one is the 1952 version, and it is actually in really great condition. Um, I love the graphics in this book as well. And so I will be making a journal out of this book, but I believe somebody asked me for that. Um, I'm going to save that one for last because that's for me. I'm keeping it, and it's probably my favorite find outside of the Christmas cards. All right. Let me show you two other items that I found. So I only have three left to show you. Um, and I, I went back and forth and back and forth about this. And a lady kept saying, did you go back and get it yet? Did you go back and get it yet? Um, I found this bowl. Now look at the design on this Italian pottery bowl. Is that not beautiful? Now, it is Italian pottery, and it says it's made in Italy for William Sonoma, and it is a pottery mixing bowl. Um, no chips or cracks that I saw. I think, Dolores, we were talking about that, and it does say made in Italy for William Sonoma. I saw some bigger ones. They were like going for $144. And I was like, mm, I don't know. This one is made for William Sonoma, even though it is an Italian pottery bowl. Um, and it does have a lot of weight to it. Um, but I have this marked at $24. So we will see. If that is not like the high price or the going price, then someone's getting a great deal on this. Um, but I just love the colors. I think it will be beautiful. Um, it could go for fall or summer, but it is really, really pretty. Uh, it is weighty. So if somebody was going to have me mail it to them, please know that um, it would be a weighty piece. Now, I will be going to a show 
Um, and it may have already gone to the show uh, before this video comes out. I just don't know where the videos are going to fall. Um, so it may or may not still be available. I kind of get those kind of things for my booth because they're weighty, but I have no problem shipping them to you if you are willing to pay the shipping. All right, y'all, this one is, I, I thought of D from the Thrill of the Thrift when I picked this up. Let me see if I can get the tag off of it. All right. It's another tea light. It's just so beautiful. It's called Bird's Bird Nesting Egg. Look at that. Look how beautiful. So here's the base plate of this. Uh, no chips or cracks in this. I just thought this screamed D from the Thrill of the Thrift. It's got these little birds in the little windows. It's got some hearts. It is in wonderful shape. I have not found as of yet anything wrong with it. Even the flowers at the top are in fabulous condition. I will double check it again. Um, but look how beautiful that is. Isn't that going to be beautiful with a little tea light candle or something in there? Oh, just so, so pretty. I don't want to, now I know why they had it taped. And I do have this one priced at $20. Um, based on the comps that I were seeing, I usually do the lowest comp that I can find um, because I do put it in my booth and sometimes they don't have to pay the shipping and there's no middle person for that. But I'm looking over it again and I do not see anything wrong with it. But y'all, I just think that is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. All right. And the last thing, y'all, didn't I do good? I did pretty good for 50 bucks. Well, I donated some, but it was less than $50 for all of that. It's really good. The last thing that I picked up, oh, I have to keep. And y'all saw me pick this up and it cleaned up beautifully, but it is this vintage picture called Jesus Loves the Little Children of the World. And I'm gonna show you if I can not put the glare on it show you all the different nationalities of the children that are there. It is a beautiful picture. And the, of course the glass is in great shape as you can see by the glare. But I love this. I love the look on her little face and the detail in the print. This is just absolutely beautiful. It says perfection picture frame in New York. You can tell the age. Now there was damage to the backside, but I was able to sneak a peek back in here and it, it didn't, it's kind of stuck to it, but it didn't mess up the print um, and it didn't bleed through on the front. But you can tell the age by the way it is framed. They use the long nails just to tack it in. The frame in itself is just absolutely beautiful. So this one is staying with me. I just think that's the coolest picture. I just keep looking at it and looking at it. If I had to guess by looking, there is like a edge here and an edge here, but it isn't at the top. And it almost looks like there's that picture is put on maybe a piece of paper, you know, like the piece of paper that comes with the frame. Um, and maybe that's what helped protect it. But oh, let me show you one more thing. Remember in the last video, when Dolores and I went to that little, I think it was an East Bernard Emporium and we walked around. That's where I had to put the music on because they had music playing. They had some really cute things in there. And um, I got one of these. I got one of these. Now this is the um, convex reverse painted. And this one I believe is called children studying or I think it's children studying. I'm not sure. Now, Dolores got the other one. Mine is in a little bit worse condition on the back, and it is smaller than the one she got. I have um, $10 on this one, but I just, this is the first time I've ever found one of these, and so I just couldn't leave them there. I had to pick them up. But again, I've never found one that is not really, really, really expensive. So, 
that's what I got. And that's all. That's all that we picked up um, from the little trip to the flea market and then a little stop at the Emporium. And I hope that you enjoyed the haul, y'all. I normally don't do just a regular haul and I've kind of gotten away from that. But sometimes when the stuff is just this good, you just got to give it its own video. So if you enjoyed this type of content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you share my channel with anyone else that loves vintage antiques and thrifting. So that's all for today. Thanks again for watching and until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.